Shout out to everybody out there in the world. This is Sound from Club Ambition. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button. Run the video up in the algorithms if you like the topic. If you're a fan of Joe Budden like myself. Joe Budden had an episode of Improper Improv with Queens Flip episode 5 today. YouTube live show. And they spoke about DJ Envy's Instagram story post where he called out the complex media, hip-hop media, power, top 10, top 25 list. He does not agree with it. He thinks it was bullshit. This is Joe Budden's reaction. He basically doesn't like it, but he doesn't want to say he doesn't like it. And then also kind of calls, no, literally calls, you know, Charlemagne owning a podcast network a lie. It gets spicy. A lot of people in the comments are saying, nah, it's up for Envy. It's up for Envy now. Now we riding with Joe. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Here's the take. It's going to be a bit distorted, guys, because Joe Budden is now, or his team, someone is hitting people with copyright infringements on YouTube now. Quarter Lab. They're hitting people with copyright infringements, but here's the distorted version. You can watch the full version on Joe Budden's YouTube. Y'all do know that complex list is bullshit. Dot. So this is Parks reading out the DJ Envy post. Dot, dot, dot. Let's be honest. Not mad dot, dot, dot. What's bigger than Breakfast Club AM? Mad things. Joe Budden said there's mad things bigger than Breakfast Club AM in the morning. He's not wrong. I think it is. A lot, especially right now, there's a lot of things bigger than Breakfast Club radio show. But it doesn't mean that they're not important. They're the most important radio show probably in the country right now. If you're not including Howard Stern, you know, Sirius XM. Or the fact that Sharla owns a, owns a podcast company with a bunch of successful podcasts. That lie. Dot, you dot, have dot. to stop that lie, too. Joe Bunn says, we have to stop that lie. We got to stop that lie, too. Why? I, I thought he does own it. So I thought he owns it, too. But maybe he's saying because Charlemagne actually licensed. He helps people license their podcasts. I don't think he owns them from scratch. He might have a couple. Probably his, right? Maybe a is Tamika Mallory's. Was Tamika's Mallory's podcast already existing? Then Charlemagne took it under his wing? I don't know. But Joe Budden said that people are lying when you say that statement. What is he, he doesn't own? I don't know. Ask him. That's so why he said, well, don't I, I don't nothing. know Charlemagne. Don't ask me nothing. Not but he said, don't ask me nothing, bro. <laughs> Joe Budden. Ask you. You said you got to stop nothing. that lie. How, how do you, that's hate. How He's, do you, don't, throw my, yo, bro, don't throw my phone, bro. He also don't added don't his late night show and the fact that he is the go-to guy for every other show. Jo, uh, yeah. I mean, Parks, I mean, Envy's right. Charlemagne does have a late night show. But I thought the late night show paused. They're not filming right now, right? But he does have it. I don't think it's canceled at all. I do like it, the new rendition. I didn't like the first rendition. And he's the go-to guy for every event. Charlemagne is the go-to hip-hop representation, go-to mental health. Technically, yeah. He, he is. I, you, can't, you can't really argue that one. For every other show. If not him, then who? Comment down below. Dot, dot. He, what is, is, he the, short on this is he the go-to guy? Yo, put my comments back on the screen, dog. I don't want to hear what Flip's talking about. I guess these lists are like assholes. Everyone has one. Damn. My main thing is this. Here's the thing. I can see the hate. There's a little hate in there. Lock, I, lock, I can lock. see. For reference background, Queens Flip is close with DJ Envy and now close with Joe Budden, so he's in between them, he's saying. I understand it. A slight at, at the homie, at my brother Joe Budden, because mm. Joe Budden had the Joe Budden network. Um... I just want to mind my business because it's two people that I know. At the mm. same time, I do feel like envy that's hate. Oh, would you look at that? In a, that's disgusting. In a, in a, in a, and that's we, what we don't, we don't. So what do you guys think? How do you guys feel? I do think that's hate. That's definitely hate on Envy's part. There wasn't a radio show today, Breakfast Club. I think they're taking a week off. I'm not sure what's going on. But. They haven't spoke about it. Maybe tomorrow if they're back on. But what do you guys think? I think the clarity is needed. That that's that is um a beef between Joe Budden and Charlemagne that has been brewing and settled and you know I don't want to say beef, but people use that word beef. But I guess just friction differences. In a perfect world, you would be collaborating. You guys are powerful. The more power you bring together, the more power you can, you know, be the fucking Avengers of hip hop. Joe Budden, Academics, Charlemagne, create a TV show for yourself on YouTube. You can literally take over. You can start your own festivals, networks, but they're doing it individually. Charlemagne has a festival that he's doing as well this, this summer. We have to be honest. We have to be honest. Comment down below how do you guys feel about this? Is DJ Envy right? Is he salty? 
Whose side are you on? Is there any side to pick? Does it matter? You don't care? Why are you here watching this damn video then? Go to sleep. <laughs>